Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes you to this day the Lord has given us together. Today we are meditating upon, protect your head. Before we start, let's see what scripture talks about on this topic. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17 And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. We all know our head is the most important and active part of our body. Many active sports we play requires a helmet as a necessary piece of equipment to protect our heads. For a soldier on an active duty, a helmet is even more vital. For a worker on construction sites and for a worker in a factory also requires to have helmets on all the time. They are in action working on the site. God says that his people are to include in their armor the helmet of salvation. The prophet Isaiah describes God as placing the helmet of salvation on his head. God saves us when we trust Christ as our ultimate Savior. We are rescued from the bondage of our sin and the separation from God. This righteousness was provided and still available free through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe, without any difference between Jew or Gentile. The helmet of salvation protects our minds from the doubts that can easily creep in and affect our faith on our Creator and Deliverer. Without helmets of salvation, we are highly in unvulnerable situations, a free and active target of our enemy. Our doubts can blow our minds and put us outside of the game when we are supposed to win or work, we are supposed to accomplish. When we know beyond a doubt that we are saved, We can handle any adversity, question, or difficulty. The knowledge and wisdom to accept and proclaim our salvation that will protect us like a helmet that protects and makes us victorious on all what we may experience every day. We must always remember and start our days by believing Jesus died and resurrected. His sacrifice and love for us, that thought alone, He can protect us throughout the day. This message also gives us a promise for our day today. The promise is, you will be able to stand firm in the battle when you wear the helmet of salvation. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Mighty Wonderful God, I am grateful for the helmet of salvation and the protection in Christ which is freely offered by you. I pray that the assurance of salvation will guard my thoughts as mine even as difficulties come and doubts attempt to creep in. Father, give us the strength and courage so we can stand firm wearing your full armor to protect and continue to be victorious in all what you have planned for me. Help me to overcome the challenges I face today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's willing, we'll talk to you tomorrow.